Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. We're joined on the star line by a hockey fan eh, that loves to sing. He's working with the Tillman Family Foundation for the Music Matters Challenge, which offers a winner $10,000 and the opportunity to pick a music teacher to win three years of salary. We welcome Grammy-nominated John Odrasik of Five for Fighting. Hey, Sean, how are you? Absolutely great, John. Let's go beyond Mike. You don't have to sell me on the importance of a music teacher as my son is about to graduate and become one. Oh. I want to know how his music changed your life and how do you want to continue for it to change others? Well, that's wonderful. Congratulations to your son. He's going to change lives, as, as you know. Um, you know, my mom was actually a music teacher. She was a piano teacher. And when music funding was cut in my elementary school in Los Angeles, she volunteered and started producing full musicals for sixth grade classes. Uh, Of course, I was Tony in West Side Story, so make of that what you will, (laughs) Sean. But um, uh, it changed changed the lives of, of, of all of us. And 50 years later, many of those kids still reach out to my mom and talk about how it made a huge difference in their lives, whether music was a profession or not. And as you mentioned, uh, we are launching this Music Matters Challenge on March 26th on Good Morning America 3, and it's a lot of fun. Um, It actually started with, uh, you mentioned the Talman Family Foundation, who works a lot in Chicago. I wrote a song called Let Music Fill My World with eight uh, high school students at Farragut Academy in Chicago, a school that does not have a music teacher. And we recorded this song, Let Music Fill My World. And it was so fun to watch them kind of come out of their shells and, and, uh, and create this amazing song. They wrote the whole lyric, and we recorded it, and we did exactly what you're saying. We, we funded a music teacher for their school that will be starting next semester for three years at a $300,000 salary. So maybe your son should apply. <laughs> but, um, and, uh, and we're doing that globally. We're doing that nationally. We're launching the Music Matter Challenge, and everybody can participate by making a little video, telling a story uh, about someone who made a difference in their life through music, singing a little bit of Let Music Fill My World, and as you mentioned, uh, the grand prize is $10,000 and sitting with, with Kaylee Tolman and I and finding another school that needs a music teacher, or providing one for three years. And there's a school prize, too, that uh, schools can compete with each other and win a $25,000 grant. And as you also mentioned, the grand prize winner wins $10,000 in cash, which we could all use these days. That's true. John, why is music education in danger now? And one of the first things administrators want to cut. That's a good question. I think there's a mindset within some that music is extracurricular, but it's not, it's, it's critical. And the metrics support that, you know, 4 million kids in America do not have a music teacher. But if you look at the data, schools that have music teacher, academic performance is better. Uh, depression, anxiety uh, uh, decreases. Social um, interaction certainly increases because kids find their own voice. They meet new friends. They can talk through music. So you can, we could talk for, you know, an hour about how, how the music metrics show that music is critical, but I think it's just common sense. I mean, um, I think we've all found some music in our life that, that provides solace, that gives us an escape, that inspires us. You know, for me, it was Elton John, Billy Joel, Joni Mitchell, you know, I'm from that age and I, I can't imagine, um, what, what, what life would be without music. So I think it's it's pretty clear. And it's also something I think we can all agree on in this day and age when we all seem to be divided about everything. I think we all can agree that that every kid deserves music in their lives. It's time for the Rocky Nate. Eight random questions. Answer with the first thing that comes to your mind, John. There is no pressure. All right, let's do it. What was the last LA Kings game you went to and you saw live? Uh, that was... We used to have tickets for 25 years, and I've been on the road for four months. So that was the Kings and the Ducks, and the Kings won. You know piano, guitar, and harmonica. Which instrument have you thought of learning next? I would love to be a sax player, but then I learned that uh, you can't sing and play sax at the same time, so I put that on the shelf. (laughs) Kind of (laughs) hard. Where's the best place on the UCLA campus? Oh, that's in the the commissary because they have the best pizza in the world. John, which song you've written didn't get the love you thought it should have? You know, I wrote a song called What Kind of World Do You Want? But there was this little guy, I really hadn't heard of him. He's called, his name was John Meyer, John Mayer, something like that, who had, who had a song called Waiting for the World to Change. And uh, Columbia Records decided to go with that one instead. I don't know why. 
You've given TED Talks, helped others, but what's the one thing you just can't do? <laughs> Cook. You can't cook? I'm, my wife is an amazing cook, so thank God. Thank God. Yeah, I'm not a very good cook. I'll smoke you some brisket, but that's about it. Fine with me. Yeah, in Texas, that's all you need to know, baby. I was, I was at Terry Black's yesterday, so we're all good. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> Where's the favorite place you've done a show at? Well, of course, you know, Madison Square Garden for the concert for New York will be the most important show I've done. But, um, you know, for me to play... Dodger Stadium for the Kings Ducks outdoor game where I caught, you know, fly balls and batting practice as a five-year-old. Nothing will top that. John, who's the one person you'd like to work with you haven't done so yet? Paul McCartney, because I just want to hear every story, and he seems like a wonderful human. I know this is a deep one, but a question that has meaning to you. Will there be peace in your time? If we all stand together for the sake of good and we keep our heart and our head in the right place, I do believe there will be peace, but we cannot um, we cannot bury our heads in the sand, and we have to look at the world as it is, like our our forefathers did in this country, and um, stand up to the evil actors in the world. And if we do that, there will be peace. We'll sneak in a couple more with John Andresik from Five Four Fighting Beyond the Mic. John, tell me about the teacher, other than your mother, that changed your life, Mister Stryker. High school bass player, an amazing teacher who let me write my essay on Steely Dan, and uh, he did change my life. Why does music touch your soul? It's a way we can all talk to each other. It's universal. Um, it's um, it's magical. It's part of all of us, and it's a way we can all connect. I was in Ukraine uh, doing a performance with the Ukrainian orchestra in a bombed-out airport, and we sang a song of mine called can one man save the world? And at the end of it, everybody was crying and hugging and, and generals were crying. And I realized that nobody understood the words. <laughs> they didn't know the lyrics, but it was the music that brought us together 3,000 miles away, this American dude and these people fighting a war. Um, so that's how music brings us together like no other medium can. It's time for One Big Question with John Andrasik from Five for, for Fighting Beyond the Mic. John, the music industry has changed since you began, and you've changed the way you approach it. How has music changed for the better and for the worse since you started? Well, I think um, it's very um, kind of segmented. Back in the day, um, you know, you being in radio, you know that that, that music stations uh, were able to play whatever they wanted. Now there's a few kind of music radio uh, conglomerates that kind of control the the playlists which it's harder for a young artists to break through on the other hand the beauty of the internet and youtube and social media is you don't need a huge record record company anymore to be discovered to build a career to have an audience to have your music be heard so that is that is a true blessing for all artists i mean i think all of us just want to be heard have a chance to be heard and with the internet everybody um has a chance to be heard. It levels the playing field. And also, you can make a record on your laptop. You don't have to spend $2,000 a day in, in a studio. So technology has, I think, certainly widened the landscape and given everybody a chance to uh, to spread their music uh, through uh, through the nation, through the world. And um, that, to me, is the, the the positive thing about where we are musically in this in this world. How can people get information on the Music Matters Challenge? Yeah, thank you for asking. All you have to do is go to letmusicfillmyworld.com. All the information is there. There's some background. There's some videos of, of Kaylee and I. And I hope everybody enters. You don't have to be a singer. You don't have to be a good singer. You can play an instrument. You can read a poem. You can paint a picture. You can do a dance. So it's for everybody. And just know that whether you win or not, you are helping fund a music teacher for a school that doesn't that doesn't have one. And more importantly, you're raise you're raising awareness for this critical issue. And before we're done, before we're done, Sean, every school in this country will have a music teacher for our kids. His mom made him play Tony and West Side Story. Wanted to play sax, but it was hard to sing at the same time and wants you to take part in the Music Matters Challenge. John Andresik from Five for Fighting. Thanks for taking the time to talk with us today. Congratulations to your son. Thank you, Sean. And that, my friends, is... I'll be on the mic shortcut.
If you're enjoying these conversations, please check out another Beyond the Mic episode to find more actors, artists, and people you need to know. We'd also appreciate a like and subscribe on the Good Pods app.